student my name is confident welcome to our revision session and in this particular session i just wanted to bring you a kind of not complicated to say but some kind of a revision that you can uh, test yourself on proving of some trigonometry so this is a trick proof that is in one of the papers that was previously written and it says you must prove here that 1 plus sin theta over cos theta plus cos theta over 1 plus sin theta is equal to 2 over cos theta. So remember, whenever you are doing your proof, you have to choose which side you want to prove so that it can become the other side. For example, this side is called the left-hand side, and after the equal sign, it is the right-hand side. So you can choose which side you want to start with. If you're going to start with the left-hand side, you must indicate um, starting from the left-hand side then your aim is to prove that the left hand side simplifies to become the right hand side usually choose the side that is that that is more kind of allowing you to work out or allowing you to to simplify it further for example if i choose the right hand side here you can see that there is nothing much i can do here so it is almost simplified so it is good for me to choose my left hand side in this case it is not always the case that you choose the left hand side but um, you choose the side that works for you so now if i can just work it below now it is saying in this case one plus sin theta over uh, cos theta plus cos theta over one plus sine theta said we must prove that is equal to 2 over um cos theta i think let me just check we are proving that it's called 2 over cos theta not sine theta so i've got this identity here as you can see so this is what i have and i need to prove as i said to choose which side you want to start with so let me start with my uh, left hand side and my left hand side says 1 plus sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over 1 plus sine theta. Now, because I chose this side, I continue now working from that side. This is equal to. So, if I can use these two as my common denominator, I have cos theta. And then I've got 1 plus uh, sine theta, but I need to protect that because it's got a positive sign as my common denominator. Now, cos theta into cos theta plus 1 plus sine theta. Now, students always confuse in terms of uh, working with fractions. So what I'm doing is I'm saying this, my common denominator, which is cos theta bracket 1 plus cos theta this is my common denominator so i'm going to divide it first by cos theta so if i do that it will be over cos theta then when i cancel out you can see one plus cos theta is remaining there so i will have at the top one plus cos theta but it multiplies the top there and the top is in bracket one plus sine theta so that is what is happening you do the same thing here with the second one. The second one, which is 1 plus sine theta. So I'm, I'm using my common denominator again, which is cos theta. Just to use a different mark. Which is cos theta 1 plus sine theta. But this time I'm dividing by 1 plus sine theta, which is 1 plus sine theta. You can literally recognize it when you cancel you'll be left with cos theta. So you will have that as cos theta, which is plus, because there is a plus sign, cos theta multiplying the top there, and that particular top is cos theta. When you have done that, you continue to simplify to say this is equal to, you open that bracket. In other words, you're expanding. The first one multiplies that, and one also multiplies that cos multiplies uh, 1 and also cos multiplies sine so it's a matter of expanding which is 1 times 1 which is 1 
plus 1 times cos theta, uh, sine theta, which is sine theta, 1 times cos theta plus cos theta, and then cos theta, actually, I yes, cos theta times, uh, I don't know where I got cos theta here. Let me just correct this because um, there is no cos at all, but it is supposed to be sine there. So please correct, that is a mistake because there was no cos at all. So instead it was sine theta there. So it's one times uh, sine theta, which is sine theta, and then sine theta times one, which is sine theta, and then sine theta times sine theta, which is sine squared theta and then plus cos theta times cos theta is cos squared theta for that part then i divide that by common denominator which is cos theta one plus sine theta don't open the bracket at the bottom continue working on your problem now the next thing you needed to uh, identify while you're working uh, on this was this identity which says sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Now check my videos where I prove this identity because sometimes they can ask you in an exam to prove this identity. Now where is that part? Look at this part which says plus. You can see that this identity is what I'm having here. So where there is that? You can substitute it with a 1 there such that you've got 1 plus uh, sine theta plus sine theta is actually there are two of them here if you can check carefully you've got this one and this one so it becomes 2 sine theta plus we said sine theta plus cos squared theta is 1 over cos theta bracket 1 plus sine theta seeing that and then you continue this is equal to now you collect the like terms which is 1 plus 1 so what I'm taking is I'm collecting that 1 and I'm collecting that 1 so it's 1 plus 1 plus 2 sine theta over cos theta 1 plus uh, sine theta so if I continue now like that it will be just wrapping it up now 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 sine theta. Alright. Over cos theta into 1 plus sine theta. Right. And then when you conclude that, look at uh, 2 is common there. I can factorize 2. So when I take out 2, 2 into 2 is 1 plus 2 into 2 sine theta is sine theta remember when i multiply this 2 times 1 is 2 which is that 2 times 2 sine theta is 2 sine theta like that so that's why i'm saying when you're factorizing what you're simple doing is you're dividing 2 into 2 you get a 1 2 into 2 sine theta is that all over cos theta bracket 1 plus sine theta i think you're already seeing what this is going to this cancels this cancels and what we are left is equal to 2 over cos theta now if we go to the original they said we must prove that this is equal to 2 over cos theta from our question and if i can just further confirm yes 2 over cos theta so you can see that this has proven that it is equal to 2 over cos theta which is equal to right and side so we have managed to prove that identity so this is how you can use um, some of this part because the the most important part was you recognizing this identity it was going to actually frustrate you if you didn't know that identity as well as being able to factorize here was the highlight to identify that this cancels with that one at the bottom there so these are things that or strategies that you can use whenever you're doing your proofs and as you continue i'll check our lessons i'll 
bring more and more of these proofs time and again that's why i said you need to subscribe to our channel or like our page whenever there is a new video that we have posted you'll be notified and check whether it also concede, um, talks about these kind of problems and this will uh, actually assist you as you prepare for your final exams we have come to the end of our lesson thank you